Planning a hunt, pre-hunt research, really starts with understanding where you're gonna go hunting. Are you putting in for a draw to a location, trying to get a tag in Kansas, putting in for a, a public area hunt within your home state, whatever that may be. And then it's after you get drawn or you just buy an over-the-counter license, then it becomes about understanding and starting to study the area. Once you start that process, studying the area can, can mean a lot of different things. It can be as simple as looking at maps, whether it's just an old traditional topo map, whether it's using a, a hunting app that's so, that are so popular today. The detail you can find in that kind of research can be incredible. It will also give you ideas that could be, hey, this could be a bedding area right here. There's nothing else getting in there. This looks like where the neighbors have planted some corn in the past, or here is a creek bottom, here's a pinch point, here's a ridge that's cutting through the area. All that pre-hunt research that you do using, whether it's a traditional paper map or something that is available in your hand now through a, a GPS or on your computer, really will help you dial in specific areas, key points that you wanna go look at and, and define and understand more. When you break down the pre-hunt research even further, you know, a guy hunting public land or his family's farm or on a hunting lease, all of these are gonna evolve differently. Each one of them is gonna require a different mindset, a different understanding of the competition from other hunters in the area, a different understanding of how the deer may feel comfortable or not comfortable in certain areas when it comes to finding a food source or a water source or where they're gonna bed or where you should sneak into and not sneak into. And a lot of that kind of comes from all source information. Once again, all the way back to studying the maps to boots on the ground. Personally, I think the boots on the ground technique of spending some time in the off season is gonna tell you a lot more than you can find on, on anything in paper, any type of study in electronic maps. However, that's not always possible in certain locations based on maybe it's your work schedule. You can't get off at the right time and you've got to go in semi-blind. So you've got to rely on the mapping. There's just so many variables that no two hunts are the same. No two types of planning are going to be the same. But personally, that's all part of the exciting challenge when it comes to hunting the white-tailed deer.